Hey guys, uh, what I got here is um, I'm going to try to put together an isolation transformer. I have an old transformer I took apart from a microwave. Uh, took it apart the other day and it actually matched up quite well with this transformer. So, in theory, I'm going to try swapping both primary, this primary onto this one, taking off the secondary, which is the high voltage, getting rid of that, and then swapping this one in, and hopefully not having to cut through it, which I'm doing now is the cut, and, uh, and then I'll have to test it, so you guys are part of the action, and get to watch out, so I'm going to flip this and try it rocking through it quick. And see what happens. Try not to make too big of a mess. Uh, it's not going to be fun to cut because it has no edge there. Uh, I'm thinking about just sticking it right down to the vise with some heavy magnets. Well, no, let me see here. Well, it never ends. Oh, uh, that was my uh, timer going off to go check on my grill. So, oh, my steak's only half burnt. But that's edible. I've done much worse. Let me try popping these magnets on. See how good that holds it. You got to cut all the way through it. Luckily, because it looks like they just braised. Actually, it looks like they freaking took a heat bar and stuck it to it. You can see where they welded along this seam here. But then on this seam, looks like they stuck a hot hot bar to it, or like a hot freaking wire or something. If you can look on the end here, not sure how good you can see that right here. But the theory is, if I cut through the top, I still ain't going to be able to split it because I got, uh, forget, can't forget about the center. It's an E magnet, so, or E uh, iron core, so, uh, see how this works. Magnets moving around just right, and that might work out. All right. Oh, oh, that's kind of nice. All right, rock and roll. Gonna zip it right here. Probably gonna want to go about as deep as about right here. Where my thumb is right there. So, get up. I can't believe that just works so well. 
Unbelievable. I thought for sure it'd be something stupid like this. The uh, outside you could see the where the piece of e core the sheet went through, and then they'd flip it. I've actually taken them apart where they were one e was this way, facing up through it, and the second one would be placed down like this, and the spacer would be down here then, and they kept flip flopping it. So. I can't believe that that worked. That's what I was worried about with this one. Whoa, now I just got to knock the center out. I'm trying to be as careful as I can to salvage and just be delicate with I, as much as I possibly can. I'm pretty sure it's looking pretty much the exact same with the same windings and everything. Actually, the same little button uh, solder joints and everything. Looking pretty darn close there, ain't it? Even this way. That's why I chose it. I had a couple other ones, but I thought this one might be the easiest to get away with it and have it match up. So I'll get this in the vise and see if I can't knock it out. It shouldn't be too bad. I got that center wire. I think I'm just going to clip it, the uh, right here, the centering wire on the uh, high voltage winding. It, and that pin, honestly, it goes through almost about up to here. It's crazy how deep that pin goes. I think I'm going to shear that off quick. Try and shear it at least. Ah, oh, that was tough. Try to tuck that down in there so it doesn't get damaged on its way out. And get back on the horse here. Just gonna keep it just a shade tight on it. So it uh hopefully these won't split apart, these metal core pieces, plates. They end up looking like this right here. This is this is two of them right here. This come off an old trans the other transformer actually. I got it right here all in pieces. If you can see this is the whole E center. And like I said, that one, a lot of them, majority of them I've ever taken apart do this. They flip-flop each other. See how this one is here? And it slops onto there, and then they put the spacer up here. And the next one, they alternate back and forth. And man, you just got to pick every single one of them apart. And then here's the bottom piece for that. I got it all. I thought I was going to be having to weld on it, weld it together here, got it all clamped up. Now, it's weird, it has a groove down the center here, and uh, this one actually, I think that's glue. Yeah, that's glue on this one. That's actually just about the only difference between the two of them, that's crazy. But, I still ain't going to split that until I know for certain. I just have a feeling that there's going to be something that's going to make it a lot harder than it is for me right now, but hopefully not. Get some real meat on
that off. That sucker was sharp. Lucky that that pin is through it. I'll help hold it together. Hopefully, I can get it off in one piece. Something's telling me I'm not going to be able to. No, I don't think I would. primary. You can see it right there. And side by side, here's the two of them. They seem exactly the same, so hopefully I'll get lucky. Still telling you. The way things work out for me. Something's going to pop up that's going to be a nightmare. Just the way it goes. for my dinner burn and the rest of the way. Suckers on there. Whew. Fit. All right. 
There it is. Tighten that one up. Put this back. Oh, there it is. Ain't too bad. All right. Going after my dinner. I'll be back.